these bikes are quite amazing and uh, they fold very in a very compact way and uh, they're quite clever because all the dirt is on the inside so they're quite safe to touch on the outside so you can take them wherever you want and it was my privilege as part of my research uh, my hobby has been writing one of my hobbies writing novels and for the second novel I wanted to try out an idea and I went to see the factory in which these are built they've now moved to a larger factory and as I chatted to the chap he uh, said have you ever seen this this is the toolbox all you ever need to maintain a Brompton these two tire levers snap out you can move them out and it reveals different size spanners and even something to tweak the spokes if they get loose and down here are all sorts of different uh, size allen keys and screwdrivers that fit into this hub a ratchet and uh, the main spanner for the wheel nut everything you need in one place quite amazing it took them quite some time to get this right because the first few of these broke uh, and it's really good and I've managed to stuff in uh, one of those uh, plastic gloves so everything I ever need if something goes wrong is always with me and it pops in there what I wanted to check out with a fellow is what happened if we were to take this hinge and turn it over so rather than the long tube being blocked by this nut this is the short tube that allows me to put in the uh, maintenance toolkit I could have the whole of this tube free so that would be across this side they thought about the idea and he thought it was quite feasible and uh, in the um, imagination of my novel this long tube is filled with a communications module that allows the person who writes it to keep in touch we could be focusing on covid and all kinds of stuff but actually it's great to celebrate design it's amazing how these things unfold one click and up comes the handlebar then a few more clicks and the wheel folds and comes out the back so you have a bicycle so as we have our communion today we're thinking about baptism and Jesus at the beginning of his ministry worked in a carpentry shop for many years he was baptized he chose to connect with our story and here if you like is a kind of toolkit just a little table and in this case this has done the rounds it's the communion set and here we have all the details we need to take a communion service so let's set things out here's a cloth to make a tatty old table look a little bit more reasonable and it doesn't matter where you celebrate communion so you can join with me at home I happen to be in the church rooms in this case uh, the same symbols work as it were wherever you might be you might not have wine at home well you can use whatever ribena water anything you fancy it's the symbolism that counts and here's uh, a wafer to symbolize the body of Christ let's put a couple out one is it were uh, representing you and one representing me it's a bit tatty it's done quite a few miles over the years and then of course a symbol of Christ's life blood we're about 80% made out of this substance and uh, it keeps us going so it's a fantastic symbol in this case fortified wine port or something like that you can use again whatever you wish so the symbol transfers so does the symbol of baptism and I'm going to put a link to a clip when we had a baptism uh, down at the Springhead we usually had taken them uh, after carol services we took this one during the uh, light so that the cameras would work and it went out on Easter day for songs of praise 
So these symbols transfer to our context and we can use our imagination. So let's say a prayer as we think about our River Jordan. Uh, we have a Jordan River that flows out of the hillside at the Springhead in Sutton Points and then down into the sea. There are not many parishes that have that, are there? Heavenly Father, at the Jordan you reveal Jesus as your Son. May we recognize him as our Lord and know ourselves to be your beloved children through Jesus Christ our Saviour. So wherever you are, these symbols transfer, and that's one of the reasons I'm using the old words. This uh, service has been used for 570 years, something like that, the old prayer book. Almighty God, unto whom all hearts be open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hid, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of thy Holy Spirit that we may perfectly love thee and worthily magnify thy holy name through Christ our Lord. And then you can join with me if you like. Hear what comfortable words our Saviour Christ saith unto all that truly turn to him. Come unto me, all that travail and are heavy laden, and I will refresh you. So God loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son to the end that all that believe in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Hear also what St. Paul saith. This is a true saying and worthy of all men to be received that Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners. Hear also what St. John saith. If any man see and we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ the righteous, and he is the propitiation for our sins. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up unto the Lord. Let us give thanks unto our Lord God. It's meet and right so to do. It is meet, right, and our bounden duty that we should at all times and in all places, all times and in all places, these gifts transfer. May we give thanks unto thee, O Lord, Holy Father, almighty, everlasting God. Therefore, with angels and archangels and all the company of heaven, we laud and magnify thy glorious name, name evermore praising thee and saying, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of thy glory. Glory be to thee, O Lord Most High. Amen. We make mistakes, don't we, and we come in humility, so let's find forgiveness as we say this prayer of humble access, as it's known. We do not presume to come to this thy table, O merciful Lord trusting in our own righteousness, but in thy manifold and great mercies. We are not worthy so much as to, mother, to gather up the crumbs under thy table, but thou art the same Lord, whose property is always to have mercy. Grant us, therefore, gracious Lord, so to eat the flesh of thy dear Son, Jesus Christ, and to drink his blood, that our sinful bodies may be made clean by his body, and our souls washed through his most precious blood, and that we may evermore dwell in him, and he in us. And may God give us his forgiveness, his peace, and his strength. Amen. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, who of thy tender mercy didst give thine only Son, Jesus Christ, to suffer death upon the cross for our redemption, who made there by his one oblation of himself once offered a full perfect and sufficient sacrifice, oblation and satisfaction for the sins of the whole world. And it instituted, did his holy gospel command us to continue a perpetual memory of that his precious death until his coming again. Hear us, O merciful Father, we most humbly beseech thee, and grant that we receiving these thy creatures of bread and wine, According to thy Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ's holy institution, in remembrance of his death and passion, may be partakers of his most blessed body and blood, who in the same night that he was betrayed took bread, and when he'd given thanks, he broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, 
This is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Likewise, after supper, he took the cup, and when he'd given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink ye all of this, for this is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Amen. It might be you feel very broken or somebody in your heart and mind is broken. So you hold the brokenness of Christ in the palm of your hands. And as we receive his healing touch, so we exchange, as it were, his brokenness for ours and find redemption and forgiveness. The body of Christ keep us in eternal life. Amen. And the lifeblood of Christ keep us in eternal life. Amen. So we give thanks to God for all those who use their skills, their imagination, whether it's designers of toolboxes, bicycles, whatever the gadget might be, but above all, everything that keeps us personal. May God bless us and keep us and make his face to shine upon us and be gracious to us. And give us his peace, his strength, his love, his laughter. Amen.